what I meant, these. Well, that's just what these triple fudge brownies need, more chocolate. <laughs> what do the other girls bring into the slumber party, insulin? <laughs> Mother, please. Hey, Beck, check it out. What is it? It's an eight track. <laughs> it's like a blast from the past, Mom. <laughs> Mother, tell your husband these are the 80s. Well, Becky, I guess you're old enough to know the grim truth. Your father is frozen in time. <laughs> We're just going to skip the 80s and try to thaw him out in the 90s. Go ahead and take it. It'll be trippy. I'm going to go pack. Far out. <laughs> hey, what time's your game? I don't know, round three. How's the arm, sport? Okay, I guess. Hey, I'm all set for the game. He know better. He know either. I'm being fire. We better. We better. We better. We better. We better. We better. Hold that. What now? The Lanford Lightning Bolt ain't going no place without breakfast. I'm just going out to the garage to get my glove, okay? <laughs> you know, it comes to me, Dan, that our middle child is kind of, how do you say, out of sorts. Pre-game jitters. I used to get them myself. All your great ones do. Yeah, well, how soon before the game do these here jitters set in? Because she's been flying off the handle for two weeks. Seems like business as usual to me. Well, guess again. Darlene the Chocolate Queen just walked by a plate of triple fudge brownies without even breaking stride. She's in training, babe. Well, thank you, the amazing Connor, for unraveling yet another sports-related mystery. I'm going over to Ernie to field some grounders. Yeah, first you're going to field some breakfast. Fine. Hey, kiddo, I'm going to really try to make it over there today, but uh, it doesn't look good. i got a poor driveway over on the west side. Don't worry about it. It's okay. But I'm going to be there. You guys just leave me alone. I don't need you there to watch me pitch. Pitch, pitch, pitch. How she ever does is pitch. <laughs> Mom, she and DJ went to wash the car. She said when she'd be back? Nope. She say anything about coming to my game? Not to me, why? Nothing. You'd be mad if she misses the game? My life would be perfect if she missed the game. It's already halfway perfect. Dad's not gonna be there. They getting on your nerves. Becky, every time they come to one of my games, Dad sits there yelling, we better, we better, we better, swing better. <laughs> She throws snow cones at the umpire. <laughs> she does not. She did once. I'm telling you, they're complete nerds. Hey, wait till you start dating. And Dad asked the guy you're going out with if he has popcorn money. <laughs> I'm not dating. Ever. It doesn't matter. They'll always find a way to embarrass you, believe me. It's not fair. I mean, parents are supposed to stay in the house. Except when they're driving you somewhere, and then they're just supposed to drop you off and go away. In a perfect world, Darlene. In a perfect world. I mean, look what Dad wanted me to take to Diane's. What's that? Like a blast from the past, man. They can't be our real parents. Nerd alert, nerd alert. Becky, you gotta help me. I don't want Mom coming to my game. I'm gonna go watch TV. Darlene, what did I tell you I was going to do if I found these on the couch again? Look, just give me the shoes and hold the lecture. Darlene. Listen, Miss Smart Mouth, you're not even going to be needing those shoes because you're not going to play baseball again until you're 58. Fine with me. I don't want to play anyway if you're going to be there. <laughs> did you ever throw a snow cone at an umpire? You weren't there. You didn't see the call. <laughs>